The difficulty of getting an ADHD diagnosis in Australia is something we should have a yarn about. In Australia, getting a diagnosis of ADHD can be a very lengthy process as highlighted in several clips in the media and social media. Patients have to identify the issue themselves, come to see a GP, which can take some time and have a financial cost. They then have to be worked up by a psychologist, which has a cost, which has a time delay, and then find a psychiatrist who deals in ADHD and again wait further time in order to see them. There are significant financial impediments to getting through this process. In an, art, in an article released by the RACGP, one cost for a telehealth psychiatry review was $700. And there was a report made in the media of cost to see a psychiatrist of $3,000 to get an ADHD diagnosis assessment. So what can we do? ADHD is as common as diabetes, being one in 20 patients in Australia. There are a couple of immediate steps we can take. The first is to note that the Senate actually released a report on a Senate inquiry into ADHD care in Australia, and they have some ripper recommendations. First, let's streamline the care throughout Australia. There are different processes from state to state in order to uh, prescribe medications for ADHD. Let's streamline it and make it consistent. Two, let's look at whether GPs can practice at the top of their scope in order to diagnose and treat ADHD. We already diagnose and treat many mental health conditions, other serious cardiovascular conditions. Why can't we look at our options for GPs operating at the top of their scope, particularly in areas where access is even more difficult? I work in outer metro, but rural and remote is another kettle of fish. Three, let's make getting into the GP to access care as easy as possible. At the moment, your rebate as a patient is the same whether you see someone for six minutes or for 19. That is the same rebate and ADHD often requires long care. It requires a long consult. It requires time to dig into what's going on. Let's adjust the rebate so that seeing someone for six minutes is not the same as seeing someone for 19. Four, let's make general practice as friendly as possible for neurodivergent patients. This is something we can implement immediately and it's something that we have control over that we can do while we're waiting for further action out of the Senate inquiry that came out in November, 2023. Getting an ADHD diagnosis in Australia is a difficult process with financial, time, and other barriers. This is something we need to have more of a yarn about. Who are you going to talk to about this issue?